Wow. Okay. I mean, it might actually be real easy for us to find these beetles in that case. Looking at it. I've certainly not seen them, though. If one of them is right there... Oh, it's not right there. It's... Up in that section there. Huh. So it's kind of on this level. It's a bit weird. So it's probably along here somewhere. Should be here roughly somewhere. I think I found the one here. Unless... Oh, there it is. I can actually see it. There it is. Okay. Okay, um... Oh, oh no, no, no. Last one is higher up. Cool. I wonder what happens if I dress like a king and try and walk by these guys. Do you think they'll arrest me? You are no king! We are no kings. Oh, you know, I climbed out onto that bit earlier. We'll try going out here. And out along this. Because I feel like it would be in this area somewhere. It's on this floor, but it's not anywhere close to here. Is that? Camera. Right, where is that pointing? It's pointing further down that way. So it's along here somewhere. I need to try and figure out where it is pointing to. So it's directly above us here. How would I get up there? It must be up and along this then. So it would be along this bit. Must be out on the window over there somehow. Or something like it. Because if I look that way and don't bug out. Hmm. It's actually more 
That's kind of way. It's kind of out here and up. I don't know how I get there. Let's see. We'd have to go up here. Ah, here it is. Here it is along here. It must be out here somewhere. No, it's not out here. It's out there. Along that roof, I guess. Oh, jeez, I nearly died. Or fell, at least. Oh, there's a door here. Oh! I've never seen this. Interesting. Wow, I completely missed this. There's the beetle. I gotta be honest, I would not have found that. Wow. Okay, back to Silas then, now that we've got his beetles. I'm not sure what we're going to get from this. Probably just a thanks and some XP. Thankfully, I can run for ages now. Which is nice and handy. Praise to you, hello, good sirs. I am the king, King Mouse. Hello, how do you do? Tilo? Hey. Uh, did the escape beetles come home? They did, so far as I know. Here, look. There's an old clothes chest downstairs in the cot. Take a look through, you might find something your size. Wow, okay. Fake cards. Meh. Well, we got in that anyway. I was kind of, when it said clothing chest, I was a bit excited for a second. I thought I might be able to get one of the pirate sets or something. What does this set actually do for us? Gives stamina recovery. Massive sprint speed. Probably still want this set just now. Got to get to the magpie then. What's the best way for us to get down there again? Uh, this way down to the harbour, or not the harbour, we'll, we'll head in the harbour's direction. We'll stop off at the area just above. Oh, going down. Catacombs. Right. Not very good at navigating this area. It's a bit of a maze, but I think it's this way.
Oh, it is, yep. It is indeed. Let me just check here. I want to check what we've got for the sleep of thieves. I need one set of crimson mushrooms which grow, grow on corpses and the cluster of beetle eggs are... The eggs are grown up high. Is what I found out. So what they did say is... It's fine. This will be a great haul. Here... I can reapply this trap if I want. I'm not going to bother just now, to be honest. The spider, I think I killed up here now, right? Yeah. The magpie is gone from here. Oh no, it's... It's not gone. It is gone. Okay. Oh, jeez, there it's there. I should probably uh, not do this just now and go and save before it kills me. If it kills me. Not sure if it will or not. Good day to you, Mr. Magpie. I know you're not going to speak to me unless I quickly switch over to the kingly... The king's ransom. Can't do it in front of it. Okay. How about here? No, can't do it there. Must be able to do it here though, right? Yes. Hail the noble king. Salutations. Ah! How is it that approaches in the dark? Bow your head, magpie. You are in the presence of royalty. A, a king? Ah! Your majesty, this is an honor. I am Ravik, descendant of Miglar, the daughter of Eg Elgin. Okay. Daughter? Well, I don't know. We'll still go with the same voice. Uh, Miglar. In magpie mythology, Miglar is the great winged creator. It's said that she conquered into existence the heavens and the skies and all the creatures who dwell there simply by speaking their names. Miglar named only to say, needed only to say the word and her word became the truth. It's unsurprising then that magpies so greatly value the spoken word or that they hold lies in such contempt. I am King Nor. King Nor the Ruthless, whose armies almost brought the five lands to their knees? King Nor, the querulous, quick to anger and known never to forgive. King Nor, the rancorous, who visits swift vengeance upon those who displease him. King Nor, the crep crepuscular, don't know what crepuscular is, never heard that word before. Whose victims' cries haunt the dusk and the dawn. The very same, and I am in need of your counsel. And I am honor bound to give it to you, your highness. But first, would you kindly remove the shade from this dying light and illuminate the hall? Dying light are blue flames that burn cold and without the need for fuel. Oh, jeez, okay. Illuminate the hall? For what reason? For what reason? So I might better see your majesty. Give me, the, uh, give me the answers I seek and I will help you in return. Forgive me, your majesty, but it's too dark. And I can scarcely see my codex feathers. All birds have many different kinds of feathers, each serving a specific purpose. Uh, Remish feathers of flight, down for warmth. Bristle for protection and so on. Magpies all, uh, alone possess a set of codex feathers concealed beneath their wings. These feathers are preened in such a way as to function as, mnemonic, as a mnemonic system, enabling the retention and recall of, every, of great volumes of information. Each magpie must take great care to maintain the codex, for it contains the knowledge of their forebathers and the history of all things. Wow. 
Who am I to refuse a magpie's request? Sire, you are gracious indeed. Ah. How on earth am I going to put these... Oh, shit. Fire's out. What is that? Oh, I can go down there. Wait a minute. I'm going to save, and then I'm going to try and put these fires out. I have no idea how I'd put these, how I'd put a fire out, though. All oh, right. So that's death. Uncover the dying light. Uncover the dying light. I'm going to have to ask it exactly what it means. Oh, it means that. Oh, I see. How the heck am I going to do that? The eerie flame is quite cool to the touch. Uh, I can assure you it's not cool to the touch because I didn't actually manage to touch it. must have to use something like this on it. Uh, maybe pine cones. Oh, there we go. Oh, such splendor. I trust the light is your, to your satisfaction, wise magpie. Oh, most Ill illuminating, your highness. Ah! How fortunate am I to gaze at last upon your majesty. Tell me, are those diamonds or sapphires in your crown? No, uh, it's a little bit of both. And those buttons on your tunic, are they silver or white gold? Ah! White gold, of course. I could scarcely imagine such wonders. Strange, though, I'd heard your majesty lost its tail at the Ballad of Life Sands. It was recovered after the battle and stitched back on. Ah, then you must know Malpitus, the physician. How is he? He was present at, a ba at the Battle of Life Sands, though... He did not personally take part in the mayhem. His claim to high fame stems from the fact that he allegedly managed to stitch back on the tail of King Soak of the Ferrets. Or was it King Nor? Accounts of the battle differ. At the time, he was already under scrutiny for his unsavoury practices, namely illicit experiments on pre-deceased patients leading to their freshly deceased condition, known as known at first as the Malpetus, pra Malpetus practice, later shortened to malpractice. <laughs> Oh, he's very well. About the same. About the same. Ah, still dead then. Now, Mouse, tell me your true name. I'd like to know who it is I'm eating. Uh, what? How, how dare you challenge a king? And what king is that? The king of lies? The king of fools? Ah! Forgive me, I, I need your help. And so you thought it would be wise to try and deceive a magpie? Ah! Yeah. You are either a fool or a thief. Um, perhaps I'm a little bit of both. Ha! <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> but you're no coward. Uh, my name is Tilo, miss. Tilo, a princess of Lulin. Oh, here we go. I just got another achievement. Unlock 45 footnotes. Oh, okay. Master Lulin, one of the most influential minstrels of the New Age. Lulin is renowned for the subtlety and warmth of his playing. Author of The Minstrel's Flight, he was known as the wise and compassionate soul and a favourite among noble creatures and kings. Lulin had but three apprentices, none of whom are nearly as accomplished as their master. He was last seen, 
Well, that's nice of it. Thanks. None is nearly accomplished as the, as the master. Written in a footnote. Must be true, right? He was last seen some years ago performing in Northern Meridia. Meribia. Meridia. Bah. Meribia was from another game. Uh, given his great age, Master Lowland's sale must by now surely have reached its end. Yet still, he lives on in song. His influence felt and heard across Pangaea. As a side note, Meribia is, a, is from a game called... Uh, oh, what? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Lunar, Silver Star Story Complete. Which was an RPG that I loved when I was younger. Uh, so, Meribia and Meridia. So, I'm surprised I've not mixed it up too much by now. Uh, yes, yeah, the same. Why didn't you say so? A minstrel is far greater than a king. Wow. Sing something. A song I've not heard before. Something of historical value. Ah! I've not heard before. And perhaps I'll let you live. The Orphan Prince, of course. The one we just got. That's a perfect choice. From the north through the mountains he came. Searching for answers to questions unknown. Destiny called his forgotten name. The orphan prince is at last coming home. His Uma saw he would come to no harm. Slipped into his pockets her lutka of stone. Led by the gleam of his true mother's charm. The orphan prince is at last coming home. White crests on the lake are breaking. Grave and ghost and silvery ring. Before him castle walls are shaking. Son of mice and heir to the rat king. This orphan prince, what else do you know of him? Uh, he has a set of silver rings left by his father. The tail rings of the Rat Kings of old? Tell me more. Uh, he was raised by mice. Mice? Curious. Go on. Oh dear. He's sorely ashamed of his father. Then he does not know the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I mean what I say. Ah! Very well, minstrel. You may go. Uh, please, Magpie, I came for your help. I've given you your life, and still you ask for more? Great Magpie, please, I came here to ask you a question. By my reckoning, reckoning my debt to you is paid. Did I not show you respect? Uh, the respect you were due? Disguised as a king? You tried to deceive me. But I did not pay for my lie with the truth. Did I not pay for my lie with the truth? You merely sang me a song, and I let you live. But perhaps there is a bargain to be made between us. I came to this place only once before, as a fledgling, but the tunnel seems to have grown narrower in the, in the years since. <laughs> yeah, definitely not you growing. I wish to explore the lower hall, but this hole here has shrunk more than the rest. Perhaps you can go in my stead. So what is it you hope to find in the lower hall? I recall seeing a tapestry adorned with magpies and a great battle. I want you to bring it to me. Ah! I wish to see it again with my own eyes. Uh, are you sure? I've, I've already explored this place and saw nothing of magpies. Then you must go deeper. Ride the dying light down into the lower hall. Okay. How do you ask? Okay.
Well now. This is going to be interesting. Looks like I need to throw something over there. The Stick of Doom! We should probably be not dressed as a king going into this. Let's go in our proper thieves outfit. Because I get the impression that this is thieving work. There's also somewhere that I can save. There's some spiders that scared the crap out of me. Okay. Spiders right there. A bunch of them, actually. What's this? Whoa! Must be some sort of a... I see, you have to move around these banners to be in the right position. I guess. But I don't know what that right position is. I don't have any reference. If I shift this back... No, oh, damn it. What is that? I think that should be over that side. Oh no, it's in the center. Oh jeez, what the heck? Right, okay, we have a plan here first. I've just noticed there's a trap on the ground there, so we're going to try and get that traps. We'll try and set this up so that this... No! Right, one down. We can rearm the trap now as well. Thanks to that ability that we've got. Hashtag easy. Get on my level. Yeah! One trap. Three kills. The beast. Guard double. Oh, there's the last guard. Oh! That's that guy, I think, that I searched for for ages. Oh, no, it's not. Um... I wonder if there's more bits to some of the costumes down here. Hmm. That's Florence. I'm looking for the corpses here because they might have... Let's... I'm going to save this again real quick in case it crashes again. We'll also put away this... Because I don't want to end up pulling it out. Right. I still don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing with this, though. Uh-oh. Sounds like there's spiders here, but I don't know where they are. Maybe they're dead. Whoa. Jeez, oh. They were moving on the ground even though they're dead. Well, that creeped the hell out of me. Oh, a bunch of pine cones around. I could have actually just smashed the pine cones onto them. 